Hey YouTubers, wanted to give you an update where I was at on my blazer. I uh, brought it down here to Richard's. I don't remember if I mentioned it before, but basically on the end of my dual exhaust, where we connected it to the down pipes Richard built from the stock manifolds, uh, we originally had put some small short flex joints in there to try to take some of the pressure off the manifolds because we didn't know for sure how strong they were. Well, those cheap eBay flex joints leaked like a banshee from the very day we put them on. So uh, they were leaking, they were leaking significantly, but I thought, well, maybe over time, carbon buildup might, you know, seal them off. Yeah, that was a pipe dream, that didn't happen. So basically yesterday, Andy helped me cut off and totally eliminate those flex joints on both of the down pipes to the main pipes. And then today we were leveling the rear suspension and adding two and a half inch turnout slash turn downs. See if you guys can see that. Because what was happening is when I had the open, the end of the muffler, the end of the magna flows were dumping and it was allowing too much of the exhaust gas to get trapped and get come up into the passenger compartment. That combined with the leaking flex joint made for a bad combo. So basically we got both the coilovers adjusted to the same. So now it sets level because the, the driver's side was always up about a quarter of an inch or a little more. And we got the turn out, turn downs on, going at a 45 degree angle. So hopefully all that exhaust gas won't be getting trapped up in the passenger compartment. You know, I will admit on my, my bucket of bolts, I still have to patch the area around where the shifter box comes through on the T5. And I still haven't completely built and sealed the access panel for the fuel pump and all that on my gas tank on this vehicle. So once I get that flap or that, I'm going to make actually a lid with a gasket and bolts that seal that off completely. Then I'm going to have to build some kind of a plate and seal the area where that uh, shifter box, I call it the shifter box on the T5, comes through the floorboard. Uh, there's a the hole slightly bigger than the shifter box, so I got to get all that sealed up. Right now, it's sealed up with black gorilla tape, and then I shove that uh, insulation down around there to kind of keep the heat away from me. And it did work pretty good, but when those flex couplers were leaking straight underneath the floorboards it wasn't keeping enough of that stinky exhaust smell out of here and you couldn't even hardly ride in this thing more than a mile or two without you know ch getting choked or you know every time you get out of the car and go somewhere everybody's like why do you smell like exhaust smell? you know why do you smell like exhaust on a car so that's where we're at on that and then richard is still test fitting on the typhoon He's got the motor in now. So you guys can see the ports on those heads. Got everything, you know, everything is basically in. And he's working on getting his torque converter bolts uh, put in, finishing all his, uh, all the hot sides done. He just got to get it installed, but he's going to wait until he gets there all these other little things done before he gets too far. There's his block off plate he made for the heater, heat and air box, which looks pretty good. Are you gonna seal this thing with silicone? Probably. I was gonna say, you're gonna need to or it's gonna let smell come in there real bad. Yep. Right stuff for the wind. Good. I know it doesn't seem like we're, he's very far, but a lot of work's been done, so. He'll be getting there soon. Anyway, I want to do an update.
because I had my car down here getting welded on. Hopefully it'll be uh, exhaust fume free and it actually makes it a little bit quieter with those turn downs on it. So anyway, that's me. And there's the Typhoon getting ready to go fast. So appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell, all that good stuff. Thanks again.